Singapore is not only the cleanest, but also the most modern of cities in Southeast Asia. Its clinics are excellently equipped to handle every kind of problem. There, sex change operations are routinely performed according to a special method developed by dynamic surgeon and gynecologist Professor Ratnam. You see, I got involved with this problem by sheer accident. I was seeing a gynecological clinic in 19, late 1969 when I saw a very attractive girl seated outside my clinic. She subsequently walked into my consultation room and asked me a very direct question, Professor, I want a sex change operation. At that time, I knew nothing about sex change operation. And I told the patient that I knew nothing about it other than reading Time magazine and newspapers. She immediately showed me uh, two cut marks, one in her neck and the other in the wrist, which were from previous attempts to commit suicide. A very cheerful, attractive girl suddenly looked very depressed, and she told me, if you refuse to do it for me, you will see me dead. So I tried to pacify her and send her to the psychiatrist. But from then on, she waited for me every day outside my clinic to say when I was going to operate on her. I knew I had no choice but to do something for her. I tried to read the literature, and there was very little in the literature. So I stood in front of the mirror myself to see how I could look like a female. And then I went to the mortuary and tried to operate on dead specimens and design this procedure. I tried to keep it a secret. But before long, everybody in town knew about it. Other patients came looking for me, although I had not written on this subject at all. And that is how I got involved in this problem. <laughs> 